This, as we all know, is a modern day basketball. It looks good, it feels good, the dribble is great, and if you're a shooter like me, it should be wet every single time, like this. Splash. But it got me wondering, what does a basketball from over 100 years ago look like? And it looks like this. This specific basketball is from the 1920s, and if you didn't know, they actually had laces on them like a football. The weight on this thing is heavy. It feels like a medicine ball. So did they have to shoot it like this? Or what is the laces for? This is tripping me out. So as you can see, it's very worn out. We bought this on eBay. Let me try the dribble test real quick. This is so old that the shape is not even round anymore. It has little lumps on it. But it's time to shoot this thing and see if I'd be as nasty as I am today back in the 1920s. Like I said, it's so heavy, so a three-pointer is so far. We're gonna try a free throw. Nah, bro, this is crazy. Look at the mark it just left on my court. It looks like poop. Wait, look at my hands. Nah, I have to make something. Okay, let's try a layup. Oh my God, I missed the layup with it. Look at what's happening, bro. Oh my God. Guys, you can see the leather is peeling back where you can see the actual basketball. I have to see it go through the hoop at least once. Went from field tested to battle scarred real quick. Look at that. The progression of basketballs is crazy. There's even an airless basketball that just came out. I can't even imagine what a basketball will look like 100 years from today. Guys, I bought a bunch of the oldest items I can get my hands on, and we're gonna be testing them throughout the day. Let's go, guys. Drop a like. So this right here is America's first disposable camera. And it was created by Kodak, a very well-known camera company. And it's called the Kodak Fling. Bro, it's just insane to see it in person, how beautiful and retro, aesthetic. Wow. I love the colors right there. This right here, you know it's made from cardboard. So are we unboxing this or no? Of course. Guys, we're actually gonna be taking pictures throughout the day and we're gonna get it developed. But there's one problem. This was created in the 80s. So right here, if you read the bottom, it says develop before December 1990. So we're gonna develop it what? just 34 years later. Before any of us were here. Except for, um... Yeah, I was old enough. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, bro, wait, this is crazy! Is it like a little peel back now, I think? Yeah, you peel wait, it back. Wait, peel back was invented in the I 80s? I think so. No way, bro. Look. Oh, I hope it works. Wait, that thing looks insane. What the heck? This is the camera? <laughs> or do we open it from here? No, I think you're supposed to keep it in here. Cause look at the inside. See? Oh yeah, no, 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 you're supposed, wait, hold on. You might be mixing up the film might right now. Maybe exposing it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, hold on. Damn. Oh wait, it literally says important, do not open the outer carton. <laughs> so do you remember that from back in your time? Of course, that one right there, <laughs> I was one years old when this came out. Ready? Yeah. Oh, oh. it works. Yo! All right, we're gonna take one of you guys and continue with more products. This is what an alarm clock used to look like back in the 1800s. So this is called a carriage clock and it has an alarm built into it. And the way you set it is by using this key and you wind it up. This thing is heavy and it's supposed to be mobile. People would actually travel with this, but it's at least eight, nine pounds. Dude, I just feel like it's so confusing. How would you know when to set the time? Like, bro, it's like a little factory back there. Factory reset. Oh. <laughs> Bro, a product 140 years old, I expected nothing less. Wait, that's scary. I'm not waking up to this. That's so functional though, imagine back then. But you think you'd wake up from that? No. I don't think so, it's not loud enough like the iPhone nowadays. Hold on, let's compare it. Which one's better? The old one. This one? Yeah. <laughs> this is cool though, I'm not gonna lie. The fact that it's still functioning 140 years later is really impressive. All right, cool, now I have a new alarm clock. I think it's time to go to the next item. Come on. That's not the next item, Noah. <clears throat> What even is this thing? It's a typewriter. How oh. people used to send letters back in the day. I where see. you can actually type letters. I get it. No, I get it. Dude, you're so annoying. 
Okay, that's cool and all, but does this thing have any like games on it? A typewriter? You asked if it has games on it? No, awesome. it doesn't have games on it, but are you reading my mind? Yeah. Because I'm thinking about a game. What are you thinking of? AFK Journey. If you didn't know, AFK Journey is a fantasy RPG game with its breathtaking visuals, intricate gameplay, and customizable characters. This is a brand new game by the makers of AFK Arena, which was a banger game, but this is not just an idle game. Start your journey off on a fantasy quest as Mer where you gather heroes across six factions and formulate winning tactics with different teams. Along the way, you'll discover new characters and reunite with old ones, all while exploring diverse maps, solving fun puzzles, and interacting with various NPCs. AFK Journey's official release offers over 40 heroes for free, including epics, giving you a wide array of RPG strategies. Additionally, you will receive 200 plus free draws by progressing through the game and completing events like the seven day login. AFK Journey is now available on iOS and Google Store for mobile and you can even play it on PC through the AFK Journey official website. And it's free to play. Use the link in the description or scan this QR code to download AFK Journey and you can use code AFK Journey Rug for some amazing rewards. Now back to the typewriter. This looks so weird. You have to press down really hard just to see the ink. I can't believe this is what you had to do just to communicate with others. If you wanted to send a letter, you had to use this. Well, you didn't have to use this. You can draw it and like write it. You could actually <laughs> write it. Pencils were invented. <laughs> oh my gosh. This was the cooler thing to exactly. have. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so the typewriter was invented in the late 1800s, but the only working one I can get my hands on was from 1933, which is still pretty dang old. When you're done writing the letter, you just take it out like that. Let's see how it looks. I tried typing, dear Rugrats, drop a like and suck I eat and then download AFK Journey. In my hands right here, we have one of the first produced Lego sets of all time. So the trademark Lego was created in 1938, but it wasn't until 1958 till they became the building blocks that they are today. Look at how old this box is. It's so cool to see how they used to brand Legos back in the day because it's definitely different today. So this right here is a current Lego set and we're gonna compare the two. Seeing this in a store in the 60s would catch my eye right away. I love the colors right here. This reminds me like the Kodak fling too. Like yeah. It has like the different stripes. So the Lego logo today is a little bit different. They kept it pretty similar, but the newer one has like a yellow outer stroke, whereas this one was just black outer stroke. I think all the different Legos come in different boxes. See what they look like. Do you think they're going to look different? Yeah, for sure. Dude, they look exactly the same. No way. Look, wait. You're lying. Wait, oh, look at how old this is, bro. It's like dirty and musty. I spent $134 on these. Dude, they look the same, bruh. There's not much more you could actually change with Legos, I feel like. So the concept of Legos was created to teach children about colors, shapes, and most importantly, building. So I really wanna build this, but it didn't come with instructions. And two, I don't think all the pieces are there. So I'm gonna just try to put together some of the Legos to see the durability of it. Oh, wow, that is crisp. I'm gonna open up the other Lego set just to see the comparison. Man. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. See? Okay, it worked. <laughs> Look at your hair, bro. You went to war for that, bro. <laughs> There you go. Thank you, bro. I got you. You can see the progression with Legos. Like, look at all these small pieces, the colors. There's also Lego characters. But back then, they didn't have people. You just had to create them. Like, there was no faces. The face was pretty much this yellow block right here. Hey, Lego, try some more old items, baby. Yeah, bro, I'm just buying them. Yeah, I'm just chilling. We're just filming right now. Dude, stop filming. It's an important phone call. I know. Bro. I just want to see what you're calling off of. It's an Apple iPhone 1. Bro, what is that? It's an Apple <laughs> iPhone 1. I just said it. Yo, that's <laughs> crazy. Guys, guys, this right here is the first ever iPhone. A 2G Apple iPhone 1. We are on iPhone 15. This got released in 2007. Bro, look at this thing. There's probably people out there right now that are born past 2007 and didn't even know this existed. But yes, the iPhone that you're probably watching this video off of once looked like this. We're gonna try powering it up. Do you think I could watch TikTok from here? Or do you think I could even download an app? Dude, does it have the original YouTube logo? Let's check, let's check. So just a few things. The lock is on the top. This is the audio jack. And this is the home button. And this is the charging port. Oh my God, it's powering up. Like a little slash in the Apple logo. I thought the screen was just cracked. No, that's how it looks. <laughs> wait, it had, oh, it has the YouTube. No way. No SIM card. Wait guys, it has the YouTube app, texting, photos, 
camera bro i can't even imagine the quality on this thing wait so there is an app store so you could download games safari can we actually go to one of my videos wait i'm really just logging into my wi-fi right now I can't connect to youtube why that's so weird where's safari youtube.com go oh my god remember when it used to load like that it's invalid why wait here we go here we go your browser's outdated well yeah this is from 2007 <laughs> obviously there's no front face cam this is the only camera but let's see the quality <laughs> oh my gosh wait that is horrible bro let me take a picture of you real quick wait, this is crazy it's actually not bad not terrible hey the evolution of iphones bro like <laughs> just take a look nah bro the size the quality <laughs> Why is this so interesting to me? So somebody actually bought this as a collector's item unopened for $190,000. 190K for a sealed Apple iPhone 1. I guess people are keeping these as collector's items, so it's cool to have one in my possession. Ooh, throwing some heat. Let's go. Bro, wait, 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 wait. What What are you using? It's my baseball glove. Are you kidding me right <laughs> now? Are you doing gardening work? This right here, folks, is a 1920s baseball glove. How is that functional at all? To think about it, before they even implemented this, they had to use bare hands. Imagine in the outfield trying to catch a heater. Like this, look at it. Oh, dude, like, but imagine what? like a line drive. Oh my, 90 miles per hour. So off the bat, the current glove has webbing connected from the thumb to the pointer finger, which can make you catch. This doesn't. And the reason why I was wearing a glove within the glove is because this is over 100 years old. I don't want to put my bare hand in there, bro. A 1920s glove and a 2024 glove. Let's go. Oh, oh. Ah. that was the worst part about grounders. Okay, let me try it. Let me try it. <laughs> Hey! On the topic of baseball, we have a baseball jersey from the 1920s. The smell is terrible. It smells so bad, there's a reason why we have it hung up because <laughs> I am not putting it on. It literally said it on the listing, it's not washed. How many years of not cleaning your clothes is that? Bro, that's over 100 years. So the uniforms were pants made out of blue wool, white flannels, this used to be white, and straw hats. This kind of reminds me of like a fit a farmer would wear. But you know what's crazy is that this design right here, it's pinstripe and it's actually using a bunch of different MLB teams today, like the Yankees. True. The Red Sox at one point had pinstripe. It's very iconic. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm probably not keeping it. Maybe just keep it here. Just leave it here forever. In every video going forward, you will see this here. Why not? Until I decide to actually take it down. As we all know, Mr. Thomas Edison created the light bulb. Without this invention right here, we would be living in a world of pure darkness, unless the sun was out. As you can see right here, this says it's an Edison gem light bulb. The light bulb was created in 18. 78 this right here was from 1880 so this was one of the first light bulbs ever created and we got our hands on it we're about to test to see if this actually works like is it gonna look any different or it's just gonna look like a regular light? i feel like it's gonna be so yellow dude the fact that this is 140 years old is it still gonna work oh wait that's bright wait that looks good thomas edison did wonders look at how beautiful that looks crazy to know that without that we would have no light except for the sun exactly <laughs> Toys have evolved so- Bro! You have to do it right here? I'm filming, bro. Honestly, you could use some cleaning. Toys have evolved immensely throughout the years. What started as sticks and clay balls in the Stone Age, the progression of toys has been insane. One of the most popular toys back in the day was a walking toy. Whoa, is that a robot? Yup. It's the ones that you wind up. Let's see how long we're gonna be entertained for. Okay. Ready? Yup. Okay, corner pocket. It has potential. You're green and I'm red. Whichever one it hits first? Yeah. All right. Oh. That way, that way, come on. It's okay, wait, in circles. Does not understand the assignment at all. Bro, I spent $68 on that. Worth it or no? For the viewers out there watching and to learn time about time. things, like imagine waking up in your bed and you see this. <laughs> You hear that, Noah? If you thought that was an owl, you're wrong. Listen. Yeah, it's like turning its head right now, probably, yeah. You think it's an owl, huh? I know it's an owl. TikTok ruined my childhood because, guys, that sound right there that you'd hear when you're waking up at your grandma's house at six in the morning, it's not an owl. What I'm sorry it? if I ruined your guys' childhood. Hey, what is it? It's just a bird. I need to see it, like, up close and personal because I don't believe I it. I think I saw it up there. It's right there. That's the bird right there. Dude, I see it doing it. I know, bro. That's crazy. 
Wait, this is a football. No, it's not. It's no, a it soccer ball. Stop. Stop. It might be a Stop. baseball. This is a football, according to the world. That is true. Are you football or soccer? Soccer, obviously. Okay. You know what? I'm in America. That, bro? <laughs> if I don't hit the crossbar right here, everyone can click off the video, dislike this video, and unsubscribe to me. I don't care. That's a little dramatic. But yeah, this is the football we all know in America. today in America. NFL official size Wilson. Do you want to see what a football looked like in 1910? This is before the NFL even became a thing. The NFL was a thing in the 1920s. Dude, what is that? Dude, this was a football from 1910. Dude, Damn. this kind of reminds me of the basketball. Yeah. So laces were a thing <laughs> on sports. A like, majority of the ball. This is super, super heavy. The quality feels good though. It's like legit leather. Let's see if we can get a perfect spiral with this thing. All right, no. I'm gonna throw the regular football. Oh my god, terrible okay. spiral. Okay, here we go. Wait, wait, why was that Loki a better spiral than the first one? Wait, it hurts to throw because it's so heavy. Hey. Hey, throw that pig skin, fam. Hey, you said pig skin, right? Well, this right here was made from a pig's bladder. Like the inside? Yup. I'm gonna punt this bad boy. Oh, that was a horrible one. Hey! Wait, wait, hold on, what is that? Oh, the guys, heck? this is what a football helmet used to look like. So you're saying someone's cranium would be protected by just this? Absolutely not, which is probably why they've upgraded them today. This is an early 1900s vintage football helmet made from leather. Imagine getting hit with this on. Like, the CTE is going crazy. Yeah, for sure. In the NFL, helmets were not mandatory for the first 20 years. Rip players. All right, here we have the oldest cheese that I can get my hands on. This has been aged for 21 years. Now, I've ate the rarest cheese in the past, but I've never ate the oldest cheese. I don't know how I feel about this. February 2002, aged in Lancaster County, product of Canada. Why does it look kind of moldy? Stop, dude. Bro. No, it does. It does. Like cottage cheesy. I was two years old when this was <laughs> put into, like, making. When you put it in that perspective, you still want to try it? Two years old. Now, that's a strong smell, bro. I barely opened it. It smells like perfume. Ew, dude, don't <laughs> say that. It's not bad. It's just very strong. It's not good. So my question is, their process of doing this, how is it different from me just like keeping cheese in my like refrigerator for you? Okay, wait, I, okay, no, it's not good. Please. It's hard. Okay. I can see why the enthusiasts would hype this up. This it's, with some crackers. It's very flavorful, but it's too strong. But I think a lot of people like that. Yeah, I know. This. Like my dad's a cheese connoisseur and he loves cheese like that. I like it. Really? Mm -hmm. You could have it then. Thank you. Are you gonna save it for another 21 years? When my kid is two years old, I'll give it to him. <laughs> When you think of McDonald's, you think of the Happy Meal. When I was a kid, the only reason I wanted to go to McDonald's was for the toys that came inside of the Happy Meal. We got our hands on some of the first toys that released in 1979. One of the main ones being erasers. We got Marvel erasers right here. We're gonna test them out real quick, okay? Look, we got the Avengers here too, but that's for the other toy. Yeah. Subscribe. Dude, see, that probably makes people not want to subscribe every time I keep doing that. Subscribe if you want. Ew, why is this kind of like wet? What is that, dude? All right, let's use another one. Oh my gosh, these are so bad. Yeah, mid. A 45 year old eraser, I expected nothing less. Another toy that was found within a Happy Meal was this bracelet. Here we have the Avengers, and I think they're stickers that you put on the bracelet, and you wear them. Let's create, huh? Avengers, go. It's go, go, Avengers. That's the- That's Power Rangers, bro, I'm not stupid. Oh, is that Doc Ock? It is. Bro, that's obviously the Hulk. Who's Doc Ock? It's the Hulk. It's okay, green. Okay, okay. Who's this then? This is Wolverine. We got good old Captain America right there. Last but not least, we got Iron Man. Perfect. And now, slap it on the wrist. And just like that, we got a quarter milli on the wrist. Going into school with this on after getting a kid's meal, that's not bad for a toy. So this right here was a hand puppet. And as you can see right here, it says 1979 McDonald's Corporation. I mean, it's just a plastic bag. Ah, this one's mid. Now we all know and love Hot Wheels, right? These launched in 1968 and Hot Wheels started with a line called the Sweet 16. But the next line they launched in 1969 is called the Red Line Series, which is what I have in my hands right here. If you look at the top right here, this was sold for 57 cents. You wanna know how much I spent? $700. What? And I'm gonna open it right now. I honestly think the coolest things about these videos when we do the old... Brother! Bro, this guy, I can't 
film will know anymore, guys. I might have to hire a new cameraman. I was gonna say the coolest things about these videos is when you see the packaging of it. Like seeing that this said September 1969 and I have it in my possession, I think is the coolest thing. But let's open it. You're crazy, bro. I'm trying to show it for my viewers out there. Bro. The collectors are cringing. I'm so sorry, guys. I actually am sorry. So this is a pin from Mattel that lets you know that you have an authentic Hot Wheel. Hey, the hood opens up, dude. What do I do with this thing? Play with it. All right. <laughs> so Hot Wheels got its name when the creator saw the cars on the track for the first time, and he said, word for word, bar for bar, those are some Hot Wheels. This is what a current Hot Wheels looks like, and it's crazy because the one from 1969 is made from full metal. Like, the quality is good. It's pretty heavy for its size. I think the new Hot Wheels are made from plastic. This is still pretty good quality, but you can definitely tell that this one was way more expensive to make. We have to go hit the camera store and go develop some pictures. All right, guys, it's been about a week since we dropped off the first disposable camera. I don't know if we're gonna get something, to be honest. I mean, the film expired over 30 years ago. I'd be lucky to see a little bit of a photo that we took, but let's go see the results. It's gonna be blank images, I have a feeling. Dude, if we see one of the photos, we need a million likes. Yeah, it looks like we got a refund coming up for that. So refund? It looks like it was blank, so. Oh, no. Okay, maybe it's because I actually opened this when I wasn't supposed to and I exposed the film. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, legit all oh, oh dang. Hey, what do we expect? Perfect pictures? Absolutely not. I did have some hopes to see a little bit of something, but um, yeah, there we have it. <laughs> Might as well still give me a million likes. Why not?